How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick confidence interval tutorial using the normal distribution. Okay, so for a confidence interval, we take our average plus or minus our z-score times our standard error, right? So we have our average plus or minus our margin of error. So let's say we took a sample and our average or A that we'll put here, uh, we got that our average was 10. And this is just gonna be uh, units, I guess, 10, 10 whatever. Um, with a standard deviation of four. And our sample size that we took was 30. Right, so this is most everything we need uh, to, to figure this all out, right? Uh, we have our average, and then this divided by the square root of that is gonna give us our standard error, and we just need to get our, our uh, z-score in there as well. So we'll make a new variable called error, and in here we'll make our margin of error. So the first part is our z-score. And we can find that by doing Q norm. And then what you do is you do the uh, percentile, you could think of it as, right? So um, if we have a, a normal curve um, and we want to do a 95% confidence interval, that means that we're going to have 2.5% in both of our tails, right? So we're not just going to put 0.95 in here. We're actually going to put 0.975 because we have, again, we have 2.5% in both tails. So for a 95% confidence interval, we do uh, 0.975. And if we run just that part, you can see down here, that gives us 1.96, right? Which is the z-score for, for a 95% confidence interval. Okay, we'll multiply this by our standard error, which is our SD, which we labeled S, divided by the square root of N. I guess I should be running this all, all along here. Right, so our error is gonna be this 1.43. Right, that's our error. And so then we can just put it all, all together, right? So we'll do our average minus our error, right? And that's gonna be the lower bound of our confidence interval. And then A plus our error is gonna be the upper bound of our confidence interval. And so if we run those, we see down here, uh, 8.57 and 11.43, right? So again, just in stat, stat words, I guess. We're 95% uh, we're confident that the actual true population percentage, or uh, average, I guess, in this case, um, is going to be somewhere between 8.57 and 11.43. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if it was, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I'm also going to make a, another confidence interval video that covers uh, if you're doing it with a T, T distribution. Okay, thanks a bunch. Appreciate it.